The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Sarah Palin stole the show at this weekend's CPAC convention. She still knows how to fire up the conservative faithful. She is a superstar, and she's used that to try to help get people elected. She is fearless. She is principled. She can pick winners. She's definitely proved that she can be effective endorsing candidates. Sarah Palin jumped in early and supported Rand Paul. She supported Marco Rubio, Tim Scott, Pat Toomey, Nikki Haley, Deb Fisher, Jeff Flake, and myself. He's probably going to win this thing thanks to Sarah Palin. That energy that captured she 60 will, Republican will. House seats. A lot of that came from her. She dominated one more time. Don't let the big consultants, the big money men, and the big bad media scare you off. When somebody's going to hold Republicans in Congress accountable, it's going to be Sarah Palin. They talk about rebranding the GOP instead of restoring the trust of the American people. How about rebuilding the middle class? Now is the time to furlough the consultants and tune out the bolsters and the focus groups home and toss the political scripts. So let them invalidate you. She does things differently. She plays by her own rules. It's time for we the people to break up the cronyism. And that goes for finding candidates. Looking to our communities, our PTAs, our service clubs, small businesses, tea party rallies, and city halls. For people who are willing to lead. She's building the future, saying to the old dogs, your time is absolutely She up. doesn't care about the old dogs in the party at all. We deserve better than the people who call themselves our leaders, but we won't get it unless we're ready to fight. And this is one fight that is worth it. The power of Palin. The bottom line is still, she has clout. So you are trying to mobilize, to get involved, either run themselves or support candidates they like. And she says the work isn't done yet. The next election is 20 months away. The last thing we need is Washington, D.C. vetting our candidates. I would not be in the U.S. Senate today if it were not for Governor Sarah Palin. And background checks, yeah, I, I guess, to learn more about a person's thinking and associations and intentions. More background checks. Dandy idea, Mr. President. Should have started with yours. people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.